and welcome on Watches TV for the presentation of the new Overk UR112 Aggregate Odyssey. So quite a name for quite a special timepiece as we will discover this together. But here's just a few shots to immediately grasp what we're talking about. And I'll get more in the details of things after this very short interlude when I will put my little gloves on. Yes, I told you we're in for quite something unique with this uh, UR112 and we can rapidly come to the conclusion that there is just nothing standard with it, whether we're talking its uh, general look, uh, which is obviously totally uncommon, but also when it comes to its mechanical architecture, where movement and main time indication are in a certain way separated. So regarding the overall look, well, we're clearly into sci-fi action hero territory. And uh, with this on your wrist, well, I could uh, totally understand that you might feel as if you have uh, superpowers of some sort. So personally, I think it just looks unbelievably cool. And what could come as a surprise for you uh, is that it's not that big. I mean, I have seriously small wrists. And this uh, 42 millimeter wide and 51 millimeter in length timepiece really doesn't look ridiculous on me. It's uh, 16 millimeter in height, but again, it doesn't stand out like a hockey puck. It's overall well balanced. And as you can expect, the fabrication of such a case is a serious nightmare for those who worked on it as it is made of titanium with different finishing techniques, for instance, a mix of polished and satin finishing. And uh, well, I mean, it's just highly complicated. And as a side story, I mean, this Odyssey version should have come out last year, but due to the case complexity, well, this had to, this, this had some uh, delaying impact on its production. And I think one can easily understand this by just looking at it. And I will make it even more obvious by pressing these two small buttons on the side, which will now open this hood feature, something that we've seen with other Orverk uh, uh, models. They seem to like this uh, little hoodie thing. But before talking about uh, what's under the hood, well now you can clearly see something which is just totally unique and crazy with this timepiece. So like I mentioned in the intro, we have the movement side on the upper part, but hour and minute indication are almost separated and encapsulated under these two very original sapphire domes. And you have to imagine that this uh, time information is brought to these modules through this central beam. But as we are lucky people, well, this is something you, you will be able to better understand with this uh, naked uh, movement. And here you can clearly see this huge transmission shaft between the movement and the time telling module. Regarding this last one, and to add a bit of necessary complexity for better legibility and of course to remain in clear over territory, well, you will find an adapted satellite system with four satellites on each side, uh, and each satellite is three-sided. Here you have the uh, hours, and the, on the opposite side, uh, the minutes, and something quite convenient, if you want to be precise, is that you will find a small uh, five-minute scale on the side. So in this case, and if I'm looking at this movement, well, now it's 6.42. I move on a little bit, 6.44. I, get, I guess you get the idea. Okay, let's talk more about uh, the movement part based on the Vaucher. It's uh, automatic, beats at 4 Hz and holds 48 hours of power reserve. Uh, something you can see with the power reserve indicator hinder, hidden under the hood. And I like that they applied this uh, micro perlage around it. A nice touch in this really contemporary environment. And same can be said about the seconds indicator uh, found on the opposite side. And uh, next to this uh, on the side of the case, uh, this is where you will find the crown with which you can obviously use to wind the watch if needed. And more importantly, set the time. And for once, I don't think I want to add much more because this timepiece is just so graphical. It's such a spaceship. And I could simply look at it for hours, not even talking about the movement by itself. So it's really original yet wearable. Okay, special, but that I don't mind as you can expect. So the Overk UR112 Aggregate Odyssey is of course limited. And yes, I know it doesn't really come cheap, but that's the way it is in this world of uh, watchmaking as a form of art. But at least we can all appreciate the performance. And okay, maybe I'm a bit more spoiled being able to see it in real, but I'm just so happy to be able to share this with you. And actually so happy that after 
our immediate Viva Watchmaking ritual, well, please stay tuned for some extra shots of this amazing and inspiring machine. See you real soon and thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye.